today we're gonna do something really exciting that we've been looking forward to for a long time. We have a beehive in our backyard, which is very intentional, and we are going to check and see if we can harvest some honey. So our dear, dear friend Shelly handles so many bees and beehives throughout Houston. She has a ton of clients. She hasn't seen our bees and they've been up to some pretty crazy things. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any videos. You made it. We're here. Where's Shelly? She's on her way. Wow. We have everything we need to harvest honey. So here is the spinner. You put the frames in here, you spin it around and it shoots all the honey to the outside. It collects at the bottom and you open it up and it comes out of there. And you make sure that's secure so you don't spill a ton of honey on the ground. This may or may not have happened. This is where you prepare the, the frames for spinning. All the honey will slope down through this grate. I got a present? Ah, oh, I'm so excited. It's my favorite. There's this charcoal lemonade that I'm really obsessed with. I love this stuff. It's so tasty and I'm obsessed with lemonade. Obsessed. I love trying all different kinds of lemonade. And, and there's mint lemonade to go with the charcoal lemonade. These girls are waiting so patiently. We got one happy one. We got a little log. She's here. You just saw what we did. Uh -huh. I love that. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to see you too. Oh my God. So Shelly has an extra bee suit. I've never worn one. Alex has always done all of the bee anything, so this is the first time I'm gonna be this close up to the beehive. I'm so excited. I, I'm i like kind of freaking out though. <laughs> so I was told to find jeans and gloves and a baseball cap to keep the hood on and everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and get changed. Okay, I've got my hat, I've got pants on, and I'm gonna change socks and you'll see why. Again, I can't stop thinking about Halloween, so these are like little Halloween cupcakes. Look how cute they are, I'm so obsessed. So I'm gonna put these on, and then I'm gonna tuck my socks into my pants. And that way, bees can't like crawl up and surprise sting me. I'm so cool. Girls, hold down the fort. I am nervous. I'm obviously very well protected, but this is very new for me. last month and this is how much honey that they've been creating. Well, the it's mind-blowing. So, this is a male bee. It's called a drone. It doesn't have a bar. So usually when you see people covered with bees, they're covered with drones. And their job is only to mate with the queen. They take up resources. And I'm really surprised. Look, there's another drone. I mean, it's full of drones.
am so hot. I am just dripping. <laughs> Do you want to come smoke me? No, come on, come back on. This is crazy. Just uh, taking a break in the shade. Sitting on the slack line. Okay. They do all the hard work. These girls want to come outside. Look at Squig. May just wants to explore. She just wants to be with us. There is one bee that won't leave me alone. She's nice. You probably just saw her. How many bees do you think we have roughly? 50. 50,000? 50,000 bees. 50,000 bees. 50, bees used to live here. Uh, now it's just a ghost land. So we're, we're harvesting that, right? Yeah. And we're done putting them back where they were. Thank you again. You bet. It's so good to see you. Oh my God, I am so hot. We've got all of the honey, or all of the frames in the house. There's still some bees crawling around on there. Oh my God, I can just hear them. It's time to harvest the honey. very successful day harvesting honey from our bees today. We ended up harvesting around 38 pounds of honey, maybe a little extra here and there, we're not entirely sure, but I would say that's a pretty good haul. We're really excited, we are also really exhausted, so it's about 4.40 right now and we started around mm, 10.30. It is really an all day thing when you harvest your honey. If you have any questions about beekeeping, especially in a suburban or urban area, please feel free to reach out. And thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.